when EA wasn't so bad, there was a game. I played it a lot. Halo, everybody. Lucky Sock here. We're going to be starting a Mass Effect Let's Play. We're at least going to be playing the first one all the way through. Still need to see if we want to continue doing a 2 and 3. Uh, this is one of my favorite games near and dear to my heart from my childhood. I hope you all will enjoy the experience with me. And there's also some good news. The fact that I'm bad and new at everything is that there will be no monetization on this. So I will probably be cursing a lot. Uh, hopefully for good reason. But uh, just a heads up. Well, let's just go ahead and dive in, shall we? Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. And another big thing here is... Establishing secure connection. I've got to make my own shepherd. Secure connection Gotta confirmed. Got to make our lucky shepherd. Got to make him look pretty. Jennifer Hale does such a fantastic job with female ship. Femme ship is so well done. Oh, they're both well off. You get a different experience depending on which one you play, but I think they both did a great job. Please log in to access your profile. I have a penis. I will play the man in this story. Warning, data corruption uh, detected. Of course, it's got to start out with me failing. Nothing new. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. All right, so I will read these three options here. Figure out which is best for our lucky shepherd. So we've got a spacer. Both of your parents were in Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. Okay. Confirm oh, whoa, psychological. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Confirm pre-service history. Whoa. Wasn't me, I swear. All right, we've also got colonists. You were born and raised on Mindwar, a small border colony in the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Mindwar. Slaughtering your family and friends, you were saved by a passing alliance patrol, and you enlisted the military a few years later. That just sounds horrible. Confirm psychological or confirm we click on anything. History. Let's read it. Earthborn, you were an orphan raised on the streets of a great megatrop. <laughs> Simple word, megatropolis. Saying all the time, hanging out in my. Megatropolises. You were an orphan raised on the streets of a great megatropolis covering Earth. You escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the Alliance military when you turned 18. No, oh, I think... I think our uh, lucky shepherd hasn't been so lucky so far. Right, and basically, um, with these options that we're selecting here, um, basically changes some dialogue options Confirm throughout the psychological game and how people profile. sort of view you sometimes and talk about you and some options for discussion and different people so um and it's actually throughout um the first through third i believe there's interactions based on these first few choices you make psychological profile soul survivor during your service a mission you went on went horribly wrong trapped on an extreme survival situation and to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell, and now you're alone left to tell the tale. Hmm. And then we've got War Hero early in your military career. You found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risked your own life 
Save your fellow soldiers, defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds. Bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. I don't know, that might go along with Lucky Shepherd. Seems like you had a little luck on that one, but we'll read Ruthless as well. Throughout your military career, you have held fast to one basic rule, get the job done. They've been called cold, calculating, and brutal. Reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you. But when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. That doesn't sound lucky to me. I'm we're Confirm we're military we're specialization. Shepherd. It's definitely a soldier. Basically, uh, these are classes. Um, for Mass Effect 1, it determines the move you'll be able to use, the type of armor, um, what weapons you can specialize in. And without those specializations, um, your accuracy and damage is lowered to the point where it's almost basically not worth using them unless you've specced into them. Soldier, but it feels like I'm missing out on some of the fun that is Mass Effect. When I first played, my very first playthrough was an infiltrator. I've always been a fan of the sneaky types. Oh, but I've I, know the sh I enjoy the shotgun and the way it feels in Mass Effect 1. Uh, but I don't remember if there was an issue with the zooming and not being able to zoom. Alright. I decided Vanguard gives me a little bit of the biotic powers, which... I'd say, uh, kind of like the Force uh, for Star Wars, sort of push-pull, all that sort of goodness. But I did want to have maybe some medium armor and some weapon specialization. Confirm like. facial I identification. Construction complete. I like that. I like it. That's our lucky ship herd over. Here we go. Identification okay. confirmed. Leave it on veteran for now. I've only played Mass Effect 1 with a controller. Ladies and gentlemen. Well, what about Shepard? He grew up in the colonies. He knows how tough life can be out there. His parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwar. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason the Lysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient space-faring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed starting new technologies, namely like travel to the furthest stars, basis for this incredible technology is a force that controls the very fabric of space and time. 
Mass Effect. I read too slow, I read too slow, I read too slow, I read too slow. The Arcturus Prime relay is in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander? Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. The board is green. Approach run has begun. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. And now you might recognize... Uh, either one of these two. Um, Joker, the pilot you saw earlier, is Seth Green, probably most notably uh, Chris on Family Guy. And you Bioware fanboys might also recognize the other gentleman, Caden uh, Alenko, who was talking with the Joker there. Uh, if you've ever played KOTOR, he's Karth Onassi. So uh, you recognize the uh, little whining guy know where it came from and so Bioware has this um, conversation wheel they were sort of the first to start this um, I guess way of doing dialogue and generally you have a top more paragon which is generally the good follow the rules and at the bottom here you usually have renegade which uh, a little more angry a little more get things done quickly, do it right. Um, in the middle is usually a little neutral. A lot of times you'll have options to investigate a little further into what's going on. Um, and we'll see how this plays out here. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth system's engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? And... Gray, you, made him mad. you pissed the Captain off, and now I'm going to pay for it. Don't blame me. The captain's always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you, Joker. All right, this might be a good spot to pause here. We'll pick it up in the next episode. I want to thank you all for tuning in. Let me know what I can do better, what you'd like to see. Do you want subtitles? Do you want me to talk during cutscenes or narration when anybody else is talking? I think I find it better and a little more immersing um, to just let these scenes play themselves out. Um, if you like my little tidbits of information on voice actors and 
different things here and there. Um, I can keep that. Well, I'm probably going to do that anyway, so <laughs> you can get used to that. We're going to end things here and pick up with our lucky shepherd in just a little bit.